Today's question is, where should I shoot at a deer while I'm bow hunting? You know, it's a great question for a beginner, but even if you're an intermediate bow hunter, where should you shoot on a deer? A deer's chest cavity is a big area. That's where knowing deer anatomy really helps you, even if you're an advanced bow hunter. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You know, that's a pretty good shot right there, especially with today's targets. You know, you can take a look and you can see there's outlines on the targets as to where we should shoot a deer. You know, old timers used to tell us, just put an arrow through a deer's body cavity and you're going to kill the deer. You will kill the deer with a sharp broadhead, no doubt about it. But think about it this way. There's two cavities here. There's the stomach cavity separated by the diaphragm. The thorax is right here. That's where you want to shoot a deer. You want to hit them in the vital organs, the lungs especially, the heart, even the liver. You slice one of those with a broadhead, you're going to cause massive hemorrhaging. And that's what bow hunting is all about. Yep. All right, let's take a look at the deer's anatomy a little bit better. And we can do that today with this really cool new target from Reinhardt. This is called an anatomy deer. But <clears throat> what we're looking at here is what I'm talking about two cavities. Where should you shoot your deer? Obviously right here. Okay, we got the lungs. And you'll see how the lungs come up on the deer. They're not square. They're a little bit oblong. They kind of roll back. The heart is tucked way far forward, a lot farther forward than a lot of people think. The liver sits in there sideways, right behind the lung, right up against the diaphragm. But what's interesting about the liver, it sits off to one side. It doesn't envelop that entire cavity. Then you have the stomach cavity right here behind the diaphragm. So once you understand that, you're going to know where you're going to want to shoot the deer. A quick side note here just on anatomy. Really study how the skeleton fits inside the deer. This is interesting because it will really help you later when you're blood trailing and being able to identify where your arrow hit. The scapula, I talk about it all the time. This is what's going to ruin a lot of bow hunts. It's the deer's still going to be killed if you puncture that scapula, but if that scapula is back here, that scapula will rotate with how that deer has its leg positioned. You always want that leg position forward. When that leg is positioned forward, the scapula is going to pitch forward. You're going to avoid hitting that. This is a hard bone, and this little ridge here on the scapula is almost impenetrable with any broadhead. It is so thick, solid bone, it's going to deflect a lot of arrows. So you don't want that leg back, because if that leg back is back, look what you got here. That scapula will be covering part of the heart, a lot of the lungs. Another thing to keep in mind, this, the spinal column is right up here. That spinal column actually runs down to where the ribs meet it. It's a pretty far distance when you look at it on this deer. It's a couple inches all the way to get to the stomach cavity and the chest cavity. Study your anatomy. You're going to know where you're going to want to shoot your deer. How much blood does this doe have in it? That's interesting. Okay, throw me a bottle of water. Average size deer of this stature is gonna have eight pints of blood in it. Just think about eight of these, approximately. Eight 16 ounce bottles of water. That's a lot of blood. How much blood does that deer need to lose to die quickly? Well, we know through scientific research it takes about 35% blood loss for a deer to fall dead within 100 yards of where you shot it, 35%. About three of these. So think about that for a second. You're out there blood trailing, and you see a drop here, a drop there, a little smear there. How many of those little drops and smears does it take to fill just one of these? Well, let's just take a look at it. I mean. There's a, that's a big drop right there. There's a big drop, big drop. I mean, you, you'd be walking through the woods, especially on snow, and you're like, oh my gosh, this deer's bleeding like crazy. I haven't even crested where the cap was on this. It needs to lose three bottles worth of blood. So that gives you an idea of what you really need to do, the kind of damage you need to inflict on a deer. Now, like I said, if you put that arrow through the middle of the deer, you're going to kill the deer. You're just not going to find it as quickly. Deer is dead. You're just not going to find it as quickly. So what's the key? The key to bow hunting is causing massive hemorrhaging. How do you cause massive hemorrhaging? Razor sharp broadheads and ideal shot placement. That's what's going to put your deer down quickly and humanely. Keep the questions coming to us. You can send them to us through Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, 
Pinterest. No matter how you find us, YouTube, get us your questions. We're going to try to answer them on air for you. And as always, you can watch all the Deer Talk Now episodes right there on our YouTube page or at DeerAndDeerHunting.com. Man, what a buck. Ooh, oh, oh, man, I tell you what, what a pretty animal. Hey everybody, I want to show you a new broadhead today from Bloodsport Archery. This is the new Wraith. It's a replaceable blade, fixed blade broadhead. It's an inch and a quarter cut on this. It looks awfully small, doesn't it? It's not. It really creates big holes and it's super sharp. What's really neat about this Wraith, the 100 grain broadhead, stainless steel. So what's cool about the Wraith, it's got a universal modular design on the ferrule, which means I can change this broadhead up depending upon what I'm hunting. So if I want to go turkey hunting, I can have a different style on it. If I want to go deer hunting, as long as that ferrule's intact, I'm good to go. Blades are scary sharp, replaceable, which is really nice, and it flies like a dart. Check them out today at bloodsportarchery.com.